So everybody knows if you want high quality engineering that goes back decades, you go German. So I was in the market for a set of cinema lenses. And for a while it was going to be the DZO film, the Vespids, um, about five or six grand for a set. But then it occurred to me for the same amount of money I could buy the Leica R photography lenses and convert them myself, which is a common practice amongst filmmakers. Convert them to EF mount, cinemod them, and use those as a set for about the same price. And crucially, the Leica set is going to accrue in value, the, the value is going to go up over time. These lenses are getting more expensive every year. So as an investment, spending the same five or six grand on a set of four lenses right now, in five years time, if I need to, I could sell those lenses maybe for, I don't know, 50% profit, 100% profit. They're going to be more valuable going down the road than the DZO set. Not only that, as I said, I mean, if you want quality and craftsmanship that goes back decades, I mean, you need look no further than Leica. I think it's important if you're gonna spend five, six thousand dollars on a set of lenses, you need to know that you've invested wisely. And I have said before on this channel that lenses and good glass is a far better investment than any of the cameras that we buy because the cameras just immediately start to depreciate. It's not just really them holding their value over time. I think that's a massive bonus, but I think the Leica glass really does have something special about it now that I've used them for a few months. Uh, I've used them on the, the Blackmagic Cinema camera, uh, the Ursa and the Panasonic GH5S. I think generally the Leicas definitely are more detailed than the Canon FD. Uh, again, they're both photography lenses, the Canon FDs and the Leica Rs. For me, being the kind of one-man show most of the time, or a single operator, that's not an issue. And having a smaller focus throw, I can live with. The degree of the focus throw is far less, I think, compared to most cinema lenses are up to like 300 degree focus. This, like the Leicas feel quite tight in that respect. So I use the Simod Lens Conversion Kit to convert from Leica R to Canon EF, so I could put them on the, the Ursa and the Blackmagic Cinema camera and the, the GH5S. Uh, it's a super easy process. You almost superimpose the Simod mount over the Leica R mount. So the Leica R mount stays in place. You don't need to take it off, which again, maybe helps resale value if I wanted to sell them individually. I bought the CinePro brass mount from Cinemod Lens. Um, they're just a bit of a tougher lens mount. You can also buy the aluminium alloy, which I'm sure are fine. These were an extra $10. I thought it's gonna help future-proof the, the lens mount a little bit in terms of wear and tear. They send the screws provided and a free screwdriver, so you really don't need anything to convert these lenses. I also bought the custom ring caps just to formalize the set a little bit, because they look cool. And also follow focus gears. These aren't all 100% necessary for, again, a single operator like me, um, but I, it makes them look cool. One thing I haven't done is de-click the aperture, which isn't really something that's part of how I shoot. There's not many shots where I need to change the aperture mid-shot, really. Uh, and I've noticed online there's a lot of talk about the de-clicked aperture can return to the wide open position or the closed position, one of the two. Either way, the aperture can move because the spring becomes weaker when you de-click it. So I haven't done that for now. You do get half stops on the aperture. There's not many situations where I'm going to need to do an aperture move mid-shot. So I've kind of avoided that, that operation. I think having shot with these lenses now for five, six months on various projects, 
I do thankfully see a difference to the Canon FDs. That would have been a shame, wouldn't it? I've spent six grand and they look the same. There's definitely more detail from the Leica glass. It is legendary, the Leica glass. These are all late 80s serial numbers. That's the beauty of having a collected set and I was very careful to collect this set online via eBay. I bought four lenses separately and I was trying to aim for late 80s serial numbers. So these are all 350, more or less, 3435. And I think it's important if you're gonna collect a set to try and match the serial numbers. Again, for resale value and also the technology of the factories apparently evolved over time. So you want a set of lenses that are manufactured in more or less the same year or two. If you buy, if you try and match a 70s lens with an 80s lens, I think the technology of the, the glass and the factories where they were made does evolve. So there is a slight difference in look. I know I keep talking about resale value, but I've got no intention of selling these lenses really. I wanted to buy a set that's gonna last me many, many years. Something with a bit more of a modern look compared to the Canon FDs, yet something with high quality, not a, a brand new lens company. I'm sure these new lens companies are great. But as I said at the start, if you're looking for quality that goes back decades, then really you need look no further than Leica. Like